Ah, okay, camera's on. That <laughs> surprised me. Actually, this one turned on too. It didn't even beep. That damn thing. Anyway. Jesus. Why won't it stay? Just stay. Stay. That's a big deal. I'm not asking much from you. You can't just stay there. You have to tip over. Jeez. Anyway. Um, yeah, making a video. Uh, about uh, ideas and how they move and um, how they have power or a lack of <laughs> depending on how they move through human beings um you know and uh i don't know how to how to i guess it could all be just described as some sort of chance thing although there's no chance but it's like you could throw a paper cup in a stream and there could be a certain probability of it getting a mile down the stream without snagging on something or catching on something and uh, so it sort of depends on how it's where it's placed if placed one place in the stream it won't make it if placed another place it will um, and uh, that sort of happens with ideas they're uh, but they're not placed you know they're they're you know, even though the cup isn't placed either, it's the decision to put it someplace in the stream will be a decision made through some process, and it, and it won't be arbitrary, eh, or spontaneous, or random. It will be cause and effect, and uh, so there's a cause and effect for ideas that are traveling through the human psychology, and it's sort of you know you. you you think of it in terms of what is what are people thinking, but it's not really about what people are doing to the ideas or the people having the ideas. It's more like how the ideas have acquired people. So it's not like people have ideas. It's like ideas have people. And if ideas can get, if they can, if they can flow, if they can get themselves to the right place in the human stream, um, get the right current. Um, yeah, they'll make it. Uh, you know, if they can get into the head of a Martin Luther King or a Kennedy or somebody else who has eloquence, eloquence, or a Shakespeare or uh, what's his name, Tale of Two City guy. Um, oh come on, I don't know Dickens. Uh, yeah, so if it, or, or even some guy writing folk songs in the '60s or some other thing. I mean, all all it needs is a it gets this, the right vehicle, and the idea goes somewhere. The wrong vehicle, it doesn't go anywhere. And um, it's trapped. It's snagged, <laughs> you know, in a, in a car that's got no wheels. So anyway, I started thinking about this. But I saw the Jack of Orkian movie, and I'll have to make a separate video on the subject of the right to die. Um, just because it does motivate you. And it does make me feel like such a coward, um, <laughs> you know, that I don't fight more aggressively for things. Um, I guess he really does, really was, you know, willing to take the risk and the chance. And, uh, anyway, um, just so, but so aggravating, the, the stupidity, especially that last judge, she was just such a bitch. And you just, uh, I find myself cursing her, saying, yes, she deserves the very worst life can dump on her. But she cheated the argument. She cheated his, him in his trial. Um, and then the rest of the Supreme Court was a big wimp and copped out and didn't have the balls to take the case either. But they wouldn't have taken it on the merits, which is the irritating part. Um, because it becomes an argument about the technology, uh, the technicalities of arguing. So anyway, but this is beside the point. Here you have this very simple idea that you don't waste suffering. And... Um, it really should be able to move, you know, through the human psychology. It, it, it shouldn't even be snaggable. It should be so powerful a concept, an idea. And here it gets hung up. It gets snagged on this stupid, archaic, religious bullshit. Uh, you know, because these fucktards see it as a threat or an insult to their god. If we decide to start being... Um, applying reason to our lives, especially our ethical or 
um, art life. So that's another part of this is this art stuff because um, uh, I watched a video somebody posted me a link to, so I watched all three or four parts of the little forum. Uh, Sam Harris and friends um, talking about philosophy and science and whether science can answer philosophical or ethical questions. And it seems obvious that it can. Logic can. Um, it's just another truth to be discovered, and that's all science is doing is revealing, um, attempting to reveal functionality and uh, ways of doing things expeditiously, <laughs> efficiently, um, processes that will make your peanut butter smoother or some other kind of crap. I mean, it's all science. Um, yeah, but there are truths about um, efficiency, and the only thing missing is a definition of the underlying value premises, and those are so easy. Um, it's really not that hard to establish that um, suffering is not a good thing, and uh, it should be um, prevented where it... Uh, doesn't provide any necessary, where it's not a, a necessary bit of the functionality. And then where it is necessary, where you must have it to have the other person's satisfaction or whatever they're after, uh, then you can have this argument about um, measuring or weighing value. And that part gets a little dicey and complicated. But I think there's still a truth underlying it all. And, uh, but, uh, anyway, that's a side issue. But it's sort of related in the sense of people have these ideas, these notions in their head. And they, they get there through this, this mechanism of culture and identity and respectability and credibility. Um, it's like the idea has to get lucky and get the right person to adopt it. And so it's not like so much that humans have ideas, it's that ideas have humans. And that uh, they need to get the right humans for them to have credibility, for them to have power. Um, because humans aren't, they aren't all, um, power is going to be appreciated based on something's um, real substance. People are cheating even in that game. Um, the most powerful ideas aren't the most dominant ideas because uh, are the strongest or logically the most logical ideas um, because people aren't applying logic they have they're not they're not measuring based on that standard they're me measuring based on stupid standards like popularity or um, you know the people I like believe it that kind of crap <laughs> and um, so uh, that kind of breaks the whole idea of the power of ideas thing and it's now more the luck of ideas like is, is the idea going to migrate through enough celebrity or enough icon um, to gain credibility or momentum even um, to get it down the stream to get it past all the the things that can get snared on in this uh, competition of ideas that exists in a way um, so anyway yeah so that's pretty much all I want to talk about was just the idea that the the ideas are out there the pieces of them the notions and it's just putting it all together and we sort of fail at that so anyway I think I'll end it here and such short video <laughs> and camera fell down all by itself so that helps. Thank you. Ugh. Off. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I found a driver for the little computer. In case you were worried, you wanted to know. Yeah, I got it at, at the Intel site, um, and it fixed the problem. The stupid Sony site had a shitty, you know, in second another driver, but it wasn't a better one. Still sucked, but the Intel site had one, and it worked and fixed the problem. So that was good. So. Has Wi-Fi now, so it's great, and uh, such.